the British army is still making its mark in Germany. It's no longer home to huge armoured brigades, but training there continues. For most soldiers now based in the UK, Germany is a new experience. A German Air Force tornado swoops low over the Senelaga Ranges. It's guided to a simulated target by a team from the Royal Lancers. As a reconnaissance battle group, they are the eyes and ears of the Army's 3rd Division. The unit can operate 100 kilometers from the main force, where air cover is crucial. All the training that we can do to integrate air uh, into our battle space and get our people really familiar with how to do that effectively makes us a far more capable and lethal organization. Germany has given the Royal Lancers a rare chance to train across 5,000 square kilometers, all done by merging Senelaga's training ranges and its computer simulation facilities. Then putting scimitar armoured reconnaissance vehicles onto public roads and moving them nearly 70 miles to operate on privately owned land. Something that has rarely happened in Germany in the past 20 years. One of the reasons why it's so much easier to do here is because they don't have hedges. If you're in a field in the UK, you're in that field and it's pretty hard to get in or out of it. If you're in a field in Germany, uh, you can broadly speaking just get onto a track and move on to the next one. You're actually going through really tight ground in these woods and villages, which is the sort of thing you might well have to do if you were fighting a real war. The Royal Lancer's next assignments are expected to be in Ukraine and in Poland. Senelaga is also playing host to one of the British Army's last units in Afghanistan. A Company of the 3rd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland, also known as the Black Watch. They see Germany as a new place to refresh and update war fighting skills. That's my first time. Um, it's a good experience coming here as well. So a lot of the boys have never been here before, so it's a good experience. Many of the soldiers, they haven't been to either Germany before or specifically the training areas. They have spent lots of time in Otterburn um, or in other training areas in the UK. So this provides us with somewhere novel, challenging and exciting for them to train. It's not like smaller areas in some of the places we have in the UK where you might come here once or twice and then be going over the same ground. You can come here continuously and still be putting your soldiers through new terrain, new challenges. As British Army training in Germany intensifies, the Senelaga diary is filling up. Next to train here, the headquarters of NATO's Allied Rapid Reaction Corps, the ARC. Rob Olver, Forces News, Senelaga in Germany. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.